celebrations on the streets of Aden after a separatist group announced it is now in control. The Southern Transitional Council defying the internationally recognized government, accusing it of failing to improve the lives of Yemenis. This is not a, a, an event that just uh, sprung out of nowhere. This is actually a pileup of um, uh, mismanagement, uh, misgovernance, in, especially in South Yemen. The council says strong leadership is needed to combat the global coronavirus pandemic. Leadership, it says, the government is lacking. That's why the SDC is right now uh, compelled to take, uh, to take action to their own hands while still calling for a ceasefire, calling for uh, de-escalation in all fronts. We want things to go smoothly. We want things, we want uh, to be able to deliver aid, services. We want to be able to battle this pandemic. But the government warns the move could have catastrophic consequences, describing it as a resumption of an armed insurgency. It's yet another complicating factor in Yemen's five-year civil war, which has been marked by shifting, sometimes shadowy, allegiances. The southern separatists are backed by the United Arab Emirates and have been nominal allies of the Saudi Emirati coalition in their war against the Houthis. But last year, the southern movement turned on the coalition-backed government, seizing Aden and fighting that lasted for days. The government says the separatists' action is a rejection of a power-sharing deal brokered to end last year's unrest, which Saudi Arabia hailed as a step towards a wider political solution to the war. Support on the ground is also in question. The separatist movement goes back far beyond the current conflict. Those in the south argue Yemen's unification in 1990 favoured the north and led to falling living standards. There are thought to be at least 25 regional separatist groups. Critics say control shouldn't be taken by force. Factions within Yemen, and, and Yemen could split not into three, but four different uh, uh, regions or areas. And I think this is like a premature uh, cessation that had, doesn't have uh, the public support in other areas of Yemen, especially in Mahra and, 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 and other places. So basically, we're there playing with fire at the moment, and I think that is, you know, it's bound to come, to come back to haunt them. The Southern Transitional Council says it continues to support the nationwide ceasefire, which has just been extended by a month. But their declaration of autonomy and a state of emergency adds to the uncertainty for Yemenis who've already suffered years of hunger and war. Alexia Bryan, Al Jazeera, 